On the evening of January 5, 1992, a haunting mystery unfolded in Gilmer, Texas. Kelly Day Wilson, a 17-year-old girl, left her job at Northeast Texas Video alongside her manager, Joe Henry. The following day, when Wilson's mother contacted Henry, he realized something was amiss. In a 2018 interview with CBS 19, Henry recalled the moment, saying, I didn't hear anything further about that until in the morning around 6 a.m. She had asked if she had said anything about going somewhere the night before. She was supposed to go to a friend's house, but I don't know anything about that. Concerned, the police were notified, and an intense investigation ensued. Wilson's vehicle was discovered the next day, still parked at her workplace with a flat tire. Strangely, her belongings were inside the car, but her keys were missing. Wilson was last seen wearing cut-off blue jeans, a purple rugby shirt adorned with red, gold, and white insignia, and brown loafers. She also wore an array of distinctive jewelry, including a gold dome ring, a gold emerald ring, a gold diamond inset Mexican eagle coin ring, a gold pinky ring, a gold chain bracelet, a gold watch, and triangle earrings. Notably, Wilson had blonde hair and wore a retainer on her lower teeth. Grainy surveillance footage from the bank captured someone making the video store's deposit that night, though it remains unclear whether it was Wilson herself. As the realization of Wilson's perplexing disappearance sunk in, the race to locate her intensified. Sergeant James Brown of the Gilmer Police Department spearheaded the investigation. However, in a bizarre twist two years later, Sergeant Brown and seven others faced indictment on charges related to Wilson's disappearance and presumed murder, according to the Charlie Project. Allegations suggested that the crime was part of a satanic ritual performed by a group of cult members engaged in violent acts. Gilmer, Texas became a divided town as opinions on Sergeant Brown and his associates' guilt or innocence diverged. The case thrust unwanted national attention onto the small community, with media coverage often fixating on cults and contentious law enforcement practices. The murder charges against everyone were later dropped, two months after the initial allegations had been made. One suspect, a teenager named Michael Bybee, was convicted of a misdemeanor for slashing Kelly's car tire. While Bybee admitted to the act, he denied any involvement in Wilson's disappearance. Another person of interest emerged, Wilson's then-boyfriend, Chris Denton. However, Denton was never charged and passed away from cancer in 2004. He consistently maintained his innocence. In 2018, the Gilmer Police Department announced a fresh examination of the case, employing modern forensic technology to reevaluate all evidence. They also indicated pursuing new leads that had emerged in recent years. This brought a glimmer of hope for Wilson's family who have never ceased their quest for answers. The vanishing of Kelly Day Wilson left an indelible mark on Gilmer, Texas. It served as a stark reminder that violence and evil could exist within one's own community. It cautioned against hasty judgments and the dangers of jumping to conclusions. For journalist Philip Williams, the case remains an intricate and enigmatic enigma. It's like a Russian novel, he remarked. It has everything in it, love, sex, religion, politics, the dark side of human nature. It's a case that has never gone away, and I don't think it ever will. Despite the myriad leads and suspects that have surfaced over the years, the truth behind Kelly Day Wilson's disappearance remains elusive. Over three decades have passed since that fateful January night in 1992, yet her family and the community of Gilmer, Texas, cling to the hope that one day the answers they seek will be revealed. While the fate of Kelly Day Wilson may forever remain unknown, we can honor her memory by refusing to forget her and by persistently pursuing the truth. As the investigation continues, we can only hope that someday the veil of mystery will be lifted, providing the closure that her family so desperately deserves. Anyone with information regarding Wilson's disappearance is urged to contact the Gilmer Police Department at 903-843-5545 or the Texas Department of Public Safety, Missing Persons Clearinghouse at 800-346-3243. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Fireside Unsolved. 
If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until next time, take it easy and be easy, you filthy bastards.